Get ready to meet some of the most amazing animals you've probably never heard of. From the tiniest fish that could fit on a fingertip to a tortoise the size of a bottle cap, we're about to explore the fascinating world of nature's smallest creatures. But don't let their size fool you. These pint-sized wonders are full of surprises, with incredible adaptations that help them thrive in some of the world's most extreme environments. Curious? Stick around, because you're about to discover that when it comes to survival, small really is mighty. Let's talk about the smallest bat in the world and, drum roll please, also the smallest mammal by size. Kitty's hog-nosed bat, better known as the bumblebee bat. At just 1.1 to 1.3 inches in length, this bat could sit comfortably on your thumb without you even noticing. And weighing in at about two grams, yep, lighter than a penny. This bat is basically the ultimate travel size mammal. Native to Thailand and Myanmar, Bumblebee bats live in limestone caves near rivers and forests, and they come out at dusk to feast on tiny insects like mosquitoes. While you might think their size makes them vulnerable, they've got some impressive evolutionary skills up their tiny bat sleeves. They use echolocation. Sending out high frequency sounds that bounce off objects. allowing them to expertly navigate through pitch black caves. It's like having a built-in radar system. Now, Kitty's hog-nosed bat gets its name from its little pig-like snout, which is not just for show. That small nose helps them distinguish scents, especially when hunting. Evolutionarily, they belong to the Crassionic Teridae family, and their ancestors date back tens of millions of years. While they weren't flying alongside dinosaurs, that's more of a pterosaur thing. Bats as a group evolved roughly 50 million years ago and have been honing their flight and hunting techniques ever since. When it comes to social life, these bats like to keep things small and cozy, just like their size. They live in colonies, but not too large, usually only around 100 bats per cave. As for communication, bumblebee bats use a combination of ultrasonic sounds and little chirps to keep in touch with their colony members. Oh, and when it's time to mate, males go all out by producing a series of high-pitched courtship calls to attract a female. So, you could say their love language is... ultrasonic. Next up, the fennec fox, or as I like to call it, the Disney character that came to life. With those comically large ears and fluffy tails, these desert dwellers look like they walked straight out of an animated movie. Fennec foxes are native to the Sahara Desert, where they're perfectly adapted to their harsh environment. Those big ears, not just for show. They help radiate heat, keeping these little foxes cool in the scorching desert sun. Oh, and they also use their ears to listen for prey, like insects and small rodents. Underground, talk about super hearing. Standing at a mere nine to 16 inches tall, these tiny foxes are pint-sized, but full of personality. They're nocturnal which means they sleep all day and come out at night to hunt. Think of them as the night shift workers of the desert. They're also social animals, living in dens with family members. Their dens are like desert mansions, complex underground tunnels where they can escape the heat and raise their adorable pups. Evolutionarily speaking, the fennec fox is part of the Kennedy family, which includes wolves, dogs, and other foxes. But these little guys have adapted specifically to desert life. And fun fact, they don't drink much water. They get most of their hydration from the food they eat. Talk about efficient living. Another cool thing about the fennec fox is their impressive leaping ability. Despite their small size, these agile creatures can jump up to two feet in the air, which helps them pounce on prey or escape predators. And let's talk about those adorable tails for a second. Aside from being a fluffy fashion statement, they also act as blankets. On chilly desert nights, fennec foxes curl up and wrap their tails around themselves to stay warm. It's like they're always prepared with their own built-in comforter. Now, let's talk fish. Specifically, the pedocypris, quite possibly the smallest fish, and vertebrate in the world. Found in the murky swamps of Southeast Asia, this little swimmer maxes out at 0.3 inches in length. That's right, they're small enough to live in water droplets. 
Their transparent bodies allow you to actually see their internal organs, which is equal parts fascinating and kind of spooky. Pedo cypress are found in peat swamp forests, which have some of the most acidic waters in the world, with a pH as low as three, about as acidic as vinegar. This extreme environment would be lethal to most other fish, but these little guys have adapted to thrive in it. It's a true testament to how resilient and tough they are, despite their size. And speaking of resilience and nature's smallest survivors, why not help us build a more resilient community here on YouTube? Subscribe and join us in surviving the toughest ecosystem out there. Hit that like button and share this video with your friends to grow a supportive community of fellow animal lovers. And of course, turn on the nonfiction bell so you're always ready when new incredible animal survivor facts are on the way. Now, let's get back to the mighty pedocypress fish. They're part of the Cyprinidae family, which also includes carp and minnows. Their ancestors were much larger, but as the saying goes, it's better to be small and survive than big and extinct. Pedocypress have an unusually fast reproductive cycle. In their tough swampy homes, they lay their eggs quickly, which hatch into tiny larvae almost immediately. Speed is key when survival is on the line. Plus, these tiny fish are quite the acrobats. They can dart and maneuver through thick vegetation with ease, avoiding predators that might see them as a snack. It's like they've mastered the art of hide and seek in their murky world. Pedocypress fish feed on plankton and tiny particles in the water, and they've developed a unique method of survival in their harsh environment. But don't let their small size fool you. They're just as fierce in the fish world as the great white shark is in the ocean. Up next, the speckled padlopper tortoise, the world's smallest tortoise, found in the arid regions of South Africa. Measuring just 2.4 to 3.9 inches long, this little reptile is perfectly adapted for life in a harsh environment, where food and water can be hard to come by. One particularly fascinating thing about the speckled padlopper is its shell. Unlike larger tortoises, the speckled padlopper's shell is flat and streamlined, helping it navigate through narrow crevices in rocky terrain with ease. And here's a cool fact. These little tortoises can live up to 50 years or more in the wild, proving that being tiny doesn't mean having a short life. Their shells are also beautifully patterned with speckles, giving them excellent camouflage among the rocks and sand, which is essential for avoiding predators in their tough environment. They belong to the Testudinidae family, which includes all tortoises, and while their ancestors were likely larger, the speckled padlopper has evolved to stay small and nimble, perfect for surviving in a rocky, rugged landscape. They're solitary creatures, and when it comes to communication, they don't do much of it, keeping to themselves unless they're looking for a mate. When mating season comes around, males will engage in head-bobbing displays to impress the ladies. Yep, even tortoises have dating rituals. Finally, we dive underwater to meet the pygmy seahorse, one of the smallest seahorses in the world, measuring only about 0.6 to 0.8 inches long. And talk about the ultimate hide-and-seek champion. These tiny creatures are masters of camouflage, blending into the coral reefs of the Indo-Pacific with ease. Depending on the coral it calls home, these tiny seahorses can blend in by mimicking the exact color and texture of the coral branches, making them nearly invisible to predators. Plus, despite their delicate appearance, pygmy seahorses are quite resilient, living in depths up to 130 feet where the pressure is high and the light is low. Talk about thriving in the deep sea. They feed on tiny plankton and shrimp, using their snouts to suck up their food like a vacuum cleaner. Pygmy seahorses belong to the Singnathidae family, which includes other seahorses, pipefish, and sea dragons. What's really interesting about seahorses is their mating system. The males carry the babies. Yep, the females deposit eggs into a pouch on the male's belly, and he incubates them until they're ready to hatch. It's like being the ultimate underwater dad. Thanks for diving into the world of nature's tiniest survivors with me today. If you enjoyed this adventure, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. What's your favorite mini creature? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and don't forget to share this video with fellow animal lovers. But hey, don't go anywhere just yet. Stay tuned because more amazing videos will be popping up on the screen. There's always more to discover.